right, so this vacation is going to take us from Slida, Louisiana, all the way down to Papagayo, Costa Rica. All right. Oh, hey, babe. And we're going to stop in Houston just for a second. All right, look there. So once you start seeing these volcanoes, that's how you know you're getting close. I actually believe these are in Nicaragua. Um, but so, yeah, so you get some really cool views before you even get there. All right, so this is actually what it looks like from the airplane. There it is. Here's another one. You start circling down. You get really close. It's like 20 minutes from the airport. And here it is, Secrets Papagayo. So let's get this thing started. All right, guys, who's ready for a little room tour? This is the standard panoramic view. So it isn't the cheapest option, but really it's not far from it. Uh, very affordable, in my opinion. Uh, it came with this awesome balcony. You could open it up one time, and it has a little net to keep out bugs or whatever. And then, or you could open it up completely. As you can see, it's just a huge balcony, uh, plenty of room. You could probably have four or five people out there. Great views, uh, always nice and cool up there because it was so windy and you could hear the ocean. It's just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. You come out here, the bed was awesome, super comfy. Honestly, I don't see a reason why you would need to join the preferred club at this resort. Um, big closet, by the way, nice, safe, but once again, I don't see why you would need to join the preferred club because there's no preferred pool uh, or anything like that. All they have is like a lounge from what I know. So I would just recommend going with this. We did get a nice little happy honeymoon thing. Uh, came with a glass, a, a bottle of champagne, two glasses. The TV was nice. Didn't give us any trouble at all. The champagne was pretty good too. Didn't hurt my belly too much. Uh, what else did we have here? The toilet was, you know, we didn't have any issues with it at all. Uh, this was really nice. It's always bougie. And the sinks were cool, a little double vanity. The, the vanity actually rotated, which was really neat. Uh, the soaps all smelled really good. Uh, and then the shower. So look at the shower. Shower is awesome. Uh, we did have an issue with it one time. They had come fix it, but I mean, that's understandable. Uh, so you could have a little bench there. It came straight down. And you could also like hang up your towels on a little thing. So uh, honestly, the room was just great, especially for the price we paid didn't I, I really don't have any complaints yeah and once again all these different amenities just awesome hey this is something i forgot earlier but this is the mini fridge and they keep it pretty stocked with you i mean they keep cokes in here um they've got four types of imperials but they only keep the regular and the silver and then if you, ask, oh, and they keep waters in here for you. And if you ask room service, you can get these little bottles of liquor smearing off. And this is the, the main liquor down here, the rum, the Flor de Cana. All right, so this is something really cool that the AMR Resorts does. So it's a little tablet. You can come on here, click anything that you need to look through, whether you're just looking at the events of the day, you need to check the time, you set an alarm, it's right next to the bed. Um, different languages you can go in here and go look at the hotel uh, just kind of scroll through here and look whatever you need to look at the dining options go to different restaurants you can even see what time they're open even look at menus they got dress codes on here um, pretty much look at everything that you would need to kind of set your vacation you don't even need to leave the comfort of your bed uh, you can also go to the spa area you can even make uh, reservations here which is always really cool um, you can also, what else do they got? Some sundial, blah, 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 uh, different entertainment for the night. Uh, and it's got the whole schedule, just like you would on a cruise, do it from your phone, but you can just do it right here. So no paper needed, nothing like that. It's really neat.
they just serve it for you. They got French toast and yeah, I'm just gonna get that and you'll be able to see. Honestly, the food was probably one of the best experiences here. I mean, the food is always so good. They got fresh bread, fresh fruit all the time. The the breakfast, you can get Bloody Mary, juice, alcohol, whatever you want at all times. Um, they always got something different, just like this. But in the same sense, you're always going to have their staple, the rice and beans and the beans and rice. Um, it is so good. They might have it every day, but it doesn't matter. You're going to eat it every day. And they're going to have different soups. The soups, man, old oh man, even if you aren't a soup person, you got to try them out. They're just that freaking good. And then they have pastas for lunch and different kind of seafood. They're definitely not skimpy on the servings. Because of COVID, they served it to you, but you could just keep going up and up. They even had sushi one day. That was crazy. Sushi at the buffet. And look at me, goofy but happy. So this dude was super cool. Really props to this whole place for uh, giving us a phenomenal time. I mean, you don't really think of getting Japanese food in Costa Rica, but overall the food was so good, so fresh, and everybody was just super nice. Okay. The Italian food was also just phenomenal. Um, in the video I just showed before these pictures, uh, you could actually rent out that room with all those wines and do different tastings and things like that. Uh, also, if you want to be creative, you're on vacation, try out the octopus. You're not going to miss out. It's definitely, definitely worth it. Seaside Grill was a great place if you just wanted to go get, you know, some seafood, uh, a steak, uh, anything that's going to be really fresh caught. And plus, you're right there by the water. It's a really pretty little place. I liked it a lot. All right, now let's talk about room service. Honestly, we only ordered room service once, and that's because it was nasty. Uh, I don't know what it was. Uh, it just, it tasted just not fresh. It just almost, it smelled kind of bad, too. Would not do it again. Really cool concept. I'll show that coming up, but room service was bad for us. All right, and due to COVID, uh, everything was wrapped up, right? Cups like this, the apples, the cookies, so. They do keep it all fresh, but it is a lot of waste. I hated that. All right, we're not really gonna talk about alcohol a whole lot. Uh, if you wanna see more on some of the beers that we tried, go look at our other channel at BSG Alcohol Reviews on YouTube. Uh, but they have full bar. You can get anything you want, anytime you want. Uh, they'll make it for you. Even if they don't know, just show them a recipe and they'll make it for you. Okay, so look, don't be afraid to go outside of the resort, go check out all the tours. So this is Liberia. Uh, we went to a little place, had some Mexican food, kind of ironic. Uh, really good, by the way. 
Uh, we even found a little brewery to go check out called Coconuts. Really good. Got some cool beer and like a little swing and everything. And everything felt safe, even the taxi drivers, okay? Look at this. He even got out of the car just so that he could show us somebody's yard where they got monkeys just hanging out there. I think they were these howler monkeys, but that was really cool. I love them, and I felt safe the entire time. All right, now I got to talk about something that was maybe the most aggravating thing on this whole trip. Uh, really, one of the only things that I can remember that I did not like about this whole vacation was these guys out here. So apparently, from what I was told, Costa Rica does not have any private beaches or something along that matter. So you've got guys who can just roam up and down uh, here. Um, it's safe. There are a couple of them that seem kind of sketchy, uh, kind of on the other end. Uh, but these guys right here, it's going to be Big Poppy, this big fella. And I don't remember this other dude's name. And they are just going to badger you about buying tours through them, uh, buying pottery, just buying some things that are just nonsense. But I will say uh, they are legitimate as far as the tours. And they will give you good prices. Whether you want to go fishing, you want to go do... The Sunset Catamaran, we went through them. Uh, if you want to go through the jet ski, we went through them. We went through Arinal. Uh, we went through some, we went through AMR Resorts for that one just because it was so far away. Um, but other than that, I mean, uh, they do have really good prices. So if you want a deal, that's great. But I mean, you can see them like everybody is just clearly aggravated that they're just always there and that it just seems like the, like the resort can do nothing about it. Now, they don't ever step into the resort. Like they know they can't really like go past this one section, but if you're on the beach, you just know you're gonna get badgered by them. So uh, pretty much kind of stick to the pool type of deal because uh, that's just how it is. Here's another thing I wanted people to realize. So this place has a lot, and I mean a lot of volcanic residue. So, you know, don't expect this to be some incredible beach uh, view like it would see in Mexico or Jamaica. Uh, this is a bay. You know, if you get outside of the bay, it is gorgeous, but all the sand is going to be like black like this. It feels really nice. But, uh, you know, at least when we were there, the water wasn't like, oh my God, so gorgeous. 
So I didn't want to end on that note. Uh, obviously, I wanted to mention it, but at the same time, uh, it really wasn't that big of a hassle. And look, the beach is still gorgeous. You're going to have a great time. Uh, I know I'm going to be a little biased because it was our honeymoon, but overall, this was just a fantastic trip with fantastic food. Uh, we met some really cool people. Uh, you know, some of the bartenders there just go above and beyond everything they need to do. Same with the the, st ev the whole staff, everybody. So I would give this place, honestly, like our experience, a 10 out of 10. I would definitely do it again. I met some people who said it was their seventh time going, and I completely understand why. And until the next time, Pura Vida.